Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So over the past few days, I have been reading and getting extremely frustrated with what the government is doing with this industry. It's just absolutely frustrating. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate when you understand that people who have no idea how this industry operates are the ones that are pushing rules and regulations that really don't fit the reality. So let's go ahead and chat about the latest bullshit we are faced with. Ready? Let's go. All right. So first we have a, I'm frustrated. So first we have a new reporting system that affects small carriers and owner operators, actually small businesses everywhere, but it does affect the trucking industry. According to overdrive, the United States treasury's financial crimes enforcement network, which is abbreviated F I N C E N now administers a reporting system aimed at all manner of small businesses throughout the United States. Since the first of this year, 2024, any newly established LLC, corporation, LLP, and some other business types, including any owner operator or small fleet who's filed with their secretary of state to establish the business have 90 days to report the BOI. The funny thing is that big businesses are exempt from this filing requirement and they are specifically targeting. They're not shy about uh, saying this. They're targeting businesses with less than 20 employees. Now, this whole thing is there to get identifying information about anyone who owns the company directly or indirectly, and it's supposed to prevent fraud. Now, the filing of this is pretty simple, and I believe you have to file only once unless you move your company to a different state, but the fines are outrageous if you do not file. So according to Overdrive, and I quote, penalties for not filing can be pretty severe with civil fines of $500 per day beyond a business's deadline to report and potential criminal penalties up to imprisonment for the worst cases. Cool, huh? Oh, oh, and the best part, who can access that identifying information? Well, the FINCEN states, and I quote, FINCEN will permit federal, state, local, and tribal officials, as well as certain foreign officials who submit a request through a U.S. federal government. I can't even talk. I'm so angry. Who submit a request through the U.S. federal government agency to obtain beneficial ownership information for authorized activities related to national security, intelligence, and law enforcement. Financial institutions will have access to beneficial ownership information in certain circumstances with the consent of the reporting company. Those financial institutions regulators will also have access to beneficial ownership information when they supervise the financial institutions. So deadline wise, if you have a company that you formed by filing with the secretary of state before January 1st of 2024, you have until January 1st of 2025 to actually file this. But if you were in business starting from 2024, you have 90 days to file after receiving a notice. Now I attached all the links down below if you want to read about this further, but I don't recommend it unless you enjoy having very high blood pressure. Number two, some will be happy about it. Some will be not happy about it, but the FMCSA is basically trying to make it easier or increase flexibility when getting a CDL. Now this is not in effect yet. It's just something that they're thinking of doing. They're going to get the comments and everything about this, but what are the changes that they are proposing? Well, first they give the flexibility to take a CDL skills test in any state, not just the state you're based out of. Number two, those who hold a learner's permit can drive without a CDL holder in the passenger's seat. And number three is that they don't want to have any more requirements to wait at least 14 days to take the skills test. So there is that. All right. Number three. Hello, New Jersey. So according to freight waves, a recent change in New Jersey law requires a significant increase in the amount of coverage a large commercial motor vehicle must carry, raising the requirement to 1.5 million. And the best part is that this will be applicable to any carrier in New Jersey. It seems it's not just for intrastate carriers who only operate in the state. It's for any uh, carrier who has a 
vehicle with a weight in excess of 26,000 pounds. So basically what it seems like right now is that if you want to travel through New Jersey, you're going to have to pay extra in that insurance. I honestly thought that this industry is overregulated as it is, but they keep piling on and piling on and piling on all these rules and regulations and filing requirements. And honestly, sometimes it feels like they're doing this to ensure that people and businesses can't keep up with all these new and confusing rules and regulations so that the government can collect money in the form of fines. I don't know about you guys, but my brain, it's pretty much scrambled eggs at this point. I am having a very hard time keeping up with all of this federal laws, state laws, local laws, filing requirements based on federal levels, state levels, local levels. Then we have the taxes, reporting requirements, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. And when I think about these one man or one woman shows where it's an owner operator with their own numbers who do their own dispatching, drive the truck, do their own back office. I mean, it's, it's crazy. The industry is already in a really bad position for crying out loud. Just over the past couple of days, there were so many articles that came out about bankruptcies and layoffs. Number one, a 25 year old trucking company, Newsome Trucking with 60 drivers filed for bankruptcy. Number two, Penske Logistics is cutting more than 200 truck driver and warehouse jobs by March 31st. Number three, UPS, and you guys know about this, is cutting 12,000 jobs and are looking to sell their brokerage unit Coyote Logistics. Yeah, I honestly don't know. I'm sure there are going to be a couple of you that say that, listen, if you're in this industry, you're going to have to comply and don't complain about it or just get out. And you know what? Many will comply, but realistically, there is a ton of unnecessary regulations right now that simply don't fit the reality of what is trucking. It's not about comply or get out. No, I'm sure many people will comply simply because they have to survive they have to make their business survive but that doesn't mean they have to be happy about it or defend all of these rules and regulations does that make sense anyway guys i know i'm babbling i'm pretty frustrated at the moment it's just it's constant you know constantly so many things wishing you all a fantastic weekend and i'll see you in the next video wishing you all a fantastic weekend and i'll see you in the next video